Hey, what's up adventurers? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be about dog food. Now, you're probably like, dude, how many dog foods are you doing? You already gave us two good ones. Uh, Open Farm, if you haven't watched, check check it out. It's gonna be on the playlist down below. Um, Origin, if you haven't watched that one either, make sure you do. These are gonna be my top three right here. The third one is going to be Nature's Logic. Now you're probably thinking, yo, how can another dog food brand compare to Origin and Open Farm? There's no way. You're psycho. You're, there's no way they paid you. No, I'm not getting paid for making this review. I'm not getting free bags of food. I kind of wish I was. Times are tough. Um, I'm not getting any sort of incentive other than me hoping that I help some of you guys out. If you guys have some questions about some dog foods that you want to buy, maybe you're switching like me so right now what's happening in my city is that they put a ban on purchasing more than uh, two types of protein so if I go and I try to buy chicken breast for my dogs and then chicken breast for me and then I'm like you know what let me buy them the chicken feed and the next two I can't I can only pick two so two types of proteins right so or two two of each proteins so I can only pick two food products that belong to chicken beef and pork it is really really impossible for me to buy or to feed them raw right now unless i go every single day so what i'm doing now is i'm giving them snacks right i'm giving them the raw food but i'm not making it their main meal i'm starting i have to feed them dog food right now because of what's going on and maybe some of you guys are in the same place you're out there looking for a good dog food you're like man i can't buy raw anymore i need some help in a good brand of food well, luckily for you, I'm making these product reviews. I'm going in depth why, why maybe you should not consider them, the pros and the cons. Let's go ahead and get to it with Nature's Logic. And in order for to do that, we have to get on the computer. Okay, and here we are looking at Nature's Logic Distinction Grain Free. Boom, here we go. I always tell you guys this don't worry about the marketing, don't worry about this. All we care about is the ingredients, all right? Because every time that you start looking at this type of stuff, you're going to get caught in the marketing scheme of the brand. In this case, it doesn't really cover anything crazy. So nothing that will pull you in. But like we've noticed with Perina and Pedigree, what they try to do is they give you like a bowl of corn and it's all cut up into beautiful pieces and this and this. So it doesn't really matter in this case because it didn't do that. Luckily, they do have this, which is fine. But if we look at the ingredients, we're going to go ahead and start as to why I consider this one of the top three food brands that you should buy your, for your dog. Now, go ahead and look at this for one second and see if you catch it. Because there's something in this ingredients list that is completely different from what we've seen so far. And I'll go ahead and give you a hint. It is part of this. Now... If you haven't caught it by now, I'm going to explain at the end. So we're going to start off at the beginning with beef. Obviously, beef is good. We want that in the top three. It's awesome that it's the first one. And then we go with beef meal, which is perfect because this is the beef. I don't want beef and then fish that would take away from it being beef. The third ingredient is tapioca root. And I do wish that this was a protein instead of a starch it kind of does bug me that it's there i wish it wasn't but i personally think that the pros outweigh the cons in this sense so let's go ahead and push over to the fourth one which is pork fat again not a protein it is pork fat though and i'm assuming i'm assuming that the reason that these two are here like i'm not an expert or anything but from researching a lot of stuff and for reading a lot of articles and this and this, I've noticed that this could be here because of all this. And I'll get to that right now. So after that, we got pork meal. Awesome. We got some pork in there. Lamb meal. Good. Pollock meal. Uh, good. And then that's it. That's it for the protein. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And I'm willing to bet that these two will be the same as this one and probably these two will be the same as the pork fat so we come into this part right here and this is what makes this the top three right here let me give you an example of what you're looking at okay you're looking at sprayed dried pork liver pumpkin seed yeast culture sprayed dried 
um well you know portion plasma kale clay kelp tomato chicory root apple carrot dried this and this and this remember how in the last one the last video the last two videos actually i said that after salt or salmon oil was which is what origin used everything after that is one percent right and they had a lot of apples they had cranberries after one percent and it was fine because they're not marketing it as the apple and lamb uh, product right <clears throat> but the fact that they were after one is still kind of something to consider in this case there is no salts and there is no one percent because everything is dried now what this also means is that all of this all of these nutrients right here are not artificial all of these are actually coming from all of this how do I know that? Let's take a look. So we're gonna look up, um, just cause I like to dog on them, pedigree dog food brand. All right, uh, we're gonna go to whichever one. I'm just gonna pick a random one too. I haven't named it, look, I'm just whatever. I'm, I'm gonna go pick a random number so you guys don't think that I'm, okay, not canned. So you don't think I'm picking them, right? Um, okay, what's going on? All right, whatever, this one. It is dried dog food, healthy weight roasted, something, I don't even know, I don't care. And here we go. Wow, yellow, don't ever buy anything with yellow or blue, please. So, salts, 1%, right? So now we have the artificial stuff. So we have calcium, monocalcium phosphate, uh, potassium chloride, colon chloride, Dried peas, vitamin E supplements, zinc sulfate. We have yellow. Don't buy anything with that, please. Um, we have supplements. We have more supplements. And we have more supplements. So basically what we're seeing here is that this dog food brand was not able to meet the analysis. Was not able to meet this without feeding. And even then, it's 21% protein, dude. Like, come on. They weren't able to meet this with... Um, everything before salts so their corn and their chicken byproduct and their more wheat and their more corn and their beet pulp did not meet the requirements for this so they had to uh use supplements let's take a look at nature's logic again nature's logic we don't have any of those artificial vitamins any of those artificial stuff that gives them that extra boost to meet where they need to be met to to meet the analysis where they want them to be and i think that this is an amazing step at the right direction because this is not only an issue with pedigree i mean we we went through open farm and we went through um through their stuff right and even they do even they have the supplements too because they were not able to meet the uh criteria right so the fact that oh my god the fact that they were able to do that speaks numbers and even here like these guys don't have as much oh yeah vitamin e supplement uh supplement 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 so on and so forth right so what does that tell me is that this dog food brand nature's logic was able to meet their nutritional requirements without the need of supplements and i've said this with origin and i've said this with open farm if open farm can do it where they can show you where the food is coming from everybody else can do it if origin can do it where the top what five six seven even or proteins everybody else can do it if nature's logic can do it where they don't have a single supplement in there every other dog food brand can do it as well and i think that this is why i consider these my top three because there isn't a dog food brand yet that i know of that does all these the all these three things together it's good that they're starting already they're already starting to be creative and be more aware of what people actually want and what is healthy for the dog. So this is really good. I honestly think that this is a 
perfect path towards the right direction. Now, my opinion as to why these two are here so high is because when you feed, when you give them this, this type of food right here, like the kibble, right? You need something that's going to hold it and bind all this together. <clears throat> I, my opinion is that this is so high up because if they were to put any less, maybe it wouldn't bind as well. And it could be it. I don't know. Uh, that's just what I think. Looking at the guaranteed analysis, what do we have here, right? Um, we're looking at 30% protein, which is good. 15% crude fat, 5% fiber, moisture, where are the carbs? That's what we want to know too, right? Because anything higher than 33, I would not recommend. So you can see here, I was messing around with it. So we're going to do 100 minus 30, the protein, minus 15, the fat, minus 5, the fiber, minus 9, the moisture. They don't have ash. A good set for ash is 8, minus 8. 33 is right on the money. So anything higher than that, I would kind of go away from. And interestingly enough, I do have here. I don't know if you guys are able to see it from my other screen, but I'm going to bring it here. I do have that this email that I sent them. And basically, I asked them like, hey, give me a list of all your carbs because what I'm seeing here might be different from what you have. And indeed it was. They're saying that their beef is actually 25.55, 57% protein for the distinction brand so that is something to consider now i'm talking about the distinction okay i'm not talking about the other one because the other one doesn't have beef meal as the second one it only has it as the first and i don't like that so i'm talking about this one they've got everything on points they do offer the chicken one the fowl recipe as well I think this one would be cheaper too, to be honest, because you got chicken, chicken meal, turkey. I always find that, I always find that chicken is, or poultry is a lot cheaper than beef because of the, the easy accessibility of chicken and turkeys and whatnot, as opposed to lamb. Now, right here, we're seeing that this is 34%. So real quick, let's look at their, in case some of you guys don't like to feed grain free i don't want to discriminate against you guys so we're gonna go ahead and i don't know why i clicked that uh we're gonna go ahead and look at their grain look at the grain products so i don't have any oh yeah Okay, so right here we have the distinction again, but these do come with grain in case some of you guys want to feed them grain. So let's look at the pork one and the chicken one. So the pork one, <laughs> it's pink. Uh, whole, it doesn't, it has whole grain millet, no peas or potatoes, natural taurine. So we got pork, pork meal, and then you see how it, they have millet instead of the other one. And then they have pork fat. And then it goes to yeast culture and then fish. Again, everything is good. If you guys are not comfortable with buying grain free because of the stigma that's going on right now with the issues, then this is a good alternative. They also have the chicken one, which is chicken meal, chicken millet, chicken fat, sprayed dried chicken liver, pumpkin seeds, and it just goes on. So again, like even if it has less chicken, at least everything is authentic, right? At least there is no synthetic vitamins or minerals here we go no synthetic vitamins or minerals so it's still something that's really good for you guys to consider it has more protein that means that it, this one will have less carbs than the other one and you're probably wondering like what is it gonna cost me dude like this is already sounds super expensive well i already have that for you boys so the bag is 26 pounds the price is 74 dollars you're paying 285 okay two dollars and 85 cents a pound this is the grain one and it lasts this is the grain one and don't worry about that i don't know what that is i forgot and this was my little cheat sheet of what i liked what i kind of didn't like and on a quick note if you guys are interested in some extra vitamins or some and some extra supplements for your dogs in the description tab i do have a list of products that i highly recommend that will help your dog out as far as digestive issues maybe bone issues so go ahead and take a look at that and that's it for today guys i hope you guys learned something if you did go ahead and pause the like button 
leave a comment down below. And if you're part of the 88% of the people that are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We need more subscribers in the channel. Help us grow so we can start reaching out to more people and help more people out. Nothing but peace and love from my pack tears.